Late one night, laying in the hospital bed, this time as a patient and not as a physician, I read some verses, or he was reading some verses about the atonement. And he said, I pondered, how is it done? For whom? What is required to qualify? Is it like forgiveness of sin? Do we have to earn his love and help? As I pondered, I came to understand that during his mortal life, Christ chose to experience pains and afflictions in order to understand us. Perhaps we also need to experience the depths of mortality in order to understand him and our eternal purposes. President Henry B. Eyring taught, it will comfort us when we must wait on distress for the Savior's promised relief that he knows from experience how to heal and help us. And faith in that power will give us patience as we pray and work and wait for help. He could have known how to succor us simply by revelation, but he chose to learn by his own personal experience. I felt the encircling arms of his love that night. Tears watered my pillow in gratitude. Later, as I was reading in Matthew about Christ's mortal ministry, I made another discovery. When even when the even was come, they brought unto him many, and he healed all of them that were sick. He healed all that came unto him. None were turned away. As Elder Dallin H. Oates taught, healing blessings come in many ways, each suited to our individual needs, as known to him who loves us best. Sometimes a healing cures our illness or lifts our burden. But sometimes we are healed by being given strength or understanding or patience to bear the burdens placed upon us. All that will come may be clasped in the arms of Jesus. All souls can be healed by his power. All pain can be soothed in him. We can find rest unto our souls. Our moral circumstances may not immediately change, but our pain, worry, suffering, and fear can be swallowed up in him. His peace and healing balm. I have noted that children are often more naturally accepting of pain and suffering. They quietly endure with humility and meekness. I have felt a beautiful, sweet spirit surrounding these little ones. 13-year-old Sherry underwent a 14-hour 14 14 operation for a tumor on her spinal cord. As she regained consciousness in the intensive care unit, she said, Daddy, Aunt Cheryl is here, and Grandpa Norm, and Grandpa Brown here and daddy who's that standing beside you he looks like you only taller he says he's your brother jimmy her uncle jimmy had died at age 13 of cystic fibrosis for nearly an hour sherry described to her visitors all deceased family members exhausted she then fell asleep later she told her father daddy all of the children here in the intensive care unit have angels helping them and it reminded me of a scripture in, in the Bible, in 2 Kings verse 6. Um, I don't know the story that well because I'm not a Bible scholar, but I know that Elisha the prophet was being chased because he was something about war plans, and he was being a pain for the Syrians, I think. And so they're in a city, and... Elijah's helper, he like woke up one morning and the Syrian the Syrians had surrounded the city and there wasn't a way out. And and he said, When the servant of the man of God was risen early and come forth, behold, a host compassed the city, both with horses and chariots. And his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. 
And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots and fire around the Mount Elisha. And I remember Elder Holland said it in a talk. I don't remember when, but he said, he said if our eyes could be opened too, that we would see those same chariots and horses of fire surrounding us waiting to help us. So we know that you're going through a hard time, but we're glad you're doing better. And just try to stay positive. Persevere. Yay. Endure to the end. Yep. You want a blessing? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I went out.